Hello, hello, ES Kitty, proud to be your thought organizer, coming to you live on a, uh, it's an overcast day in Atlantic Canada, and humid as, uh, I, well, I don't think Hades is humid, I was going to say humid as hell, or <laughs> humid as Hades, but I don't think Hades is humid. It is, as uh, when I last looked, 78% humidity and about uh, 25 degrees, feels like 28, that's all in Celsius, of course. Anywho, uh, welcome to the Easter, well, Eastern Canada, anyway, Atlantic Canada, hello, Michael, uh, and probably all along the Eastern Seaboard is, is hot and humid, I don't know how it is in Ohio, Michael is going to tell us, isn't he, if he is not driving. Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, happy Monday to you, and I am feeling good. Uh, Michael, I don't know if you saw that post that I have about Shiraz Babu's workshop coming up in just a couple hours from now or at 8 o'clock Eastern, but I highly recommend. And if you're watching this, if you're if you're watching this in the uh, on replay within the next two hours, send me uh, send me a direct message, and I'll send you the link. Actually, I may even be have time to post it before I go to my eye doctor appointment. Uh, but uh, it is highly worth checking out. Shiraz and I have been working together for the last uh, six weeks or so, and um, life changing. All right, so. Uh, hello, uh, thank you for joining. Okay, we have a notification here. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so who am I? I am hot, humid, and rainy. Good heavens, well, at least you've got some rain happening there, so that'll take away some of the, we hope. All right, sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's get right to it, shall we? Who am I? I am Kitty Anders with DeclutterTheBrain.com, and you Yes, I am proud to be your thought organizer. The story behind that, direct message me if you're curious about that. And I work with entrepreneurs to help them to clear their space, organize their thoughts so that they can focus and focus on the right things, including attracting and serving premium clients. Now, I do have over 20 years experience in helping people to gain control of their surroundings. I've done it in person, I've done it via real estate staging, I've done, I am doing it virtually, and uh, uh, between group programs or um, right now it's, it's strictly private coaching. Uh, and through those 20 years, 20 plus, I have developed uh, no, two things. Number one, a steadfast belief. Hello, Robin. Good to see you. Yes, happy Monday to you, my friend. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> two things I've developed. Number one, a firm belief that physical clutter and lack of concentration are very closely related. And number two, I've developed a step-by-step -step one system. Uh, which is applicable not only to your physical surroundings, your home, but your heart, you know, the other four pillars, your heart, your habits, your health, and your head. Hence, declutter the brain. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, so how would it help you to take immediate action on your clutter? Uh, would you feel amazing at the end of the day because you've gotten so much done? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was a bit of a powerhouse over the weekend because I had a deadline and I, yeah, I, I did feel good because I had cleared, cleared physical and mental clutter. And you know, um, if, you're, if you're thinking, hmm, this is raising some bells for me, maybe I want to learn more, I'll tell you what, you hold that thought and we will give you your next steps to take in approximately uh, seven minutes from now. Today's a little bit shorter on the content, but we are going to give you an overview of this week's content. And what is it? It is Let's Stop and Smell the Roses, shall we? No, I don't have a song for that. Title of this week is Refresh Your Summer Soul. And this, this is a piece that, I, that, that we did last year. Uh, and it is applicable every year. It may even be applicable in the winter. I may, I may think about that. But during the summer, 
we um we're torn torn between two lovers there's your song for the day uh we, we especially if you're an overachiever hey can you relate overachiever yeah 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 right okay uh it is difficult uh, to stop and smell the roses. I am a perfect example, full disclosure. Go, 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 go. It doesn't matter what uh, wh what the weather is, uh, what time of year it is, it is full steam ahead. But that can get you into trouble. Now, you, you're torn between two lovers. You've got, these, you've, you've got the nice weather outside. There are things to do, festivals to attend. But then you've got the overachiever side of you that says, no, 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 got to work, got to work, have to, have, must work, must work, must accomplish, must do things. Uh, and that's one of the things that Shiraz, Shiraz's program helps me with. Um, uh, and so it is difficult to stop and smell the roses. However, what happens, that is all very well and good to be that overachiever, to strive and survive and thrive, but what can happen is it can bring on a whole host of stress-related problems. You can throw your back out. Mm -hmm. You can have headaches. You can have stomach aches. You can have nervous disorders. You can, be, you can just be anxious and crabby and not very nice to be around. Huh? Yeah, okay, been there. And you can be bitter. Well, all the other, you, they, if, you, if you feel like you're a kid again, all the other kids get to go to the park and play, and I don't. I have to work. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> because in, when I was a little girl, that I, I didn't get to go, go to the park until all of my chores were done, and those chores took all day, all summer. So, there was, if I got 15 minutes to go to the park across the street and play on the swings, good for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can feel this way. And this is why it is doubly important to give yourself permission to do short little breaks. And this will empower your, Robin, are you listening? This will do wonders for your self-empowerment and productivity. Now, Robin has actually been practicing that. Michael, we're, we're going to talk if you're not. Um, but Robin has been incorporating uh, a leisure activity with, during her day to just kind of zone and transition and that and that is crochet i hope you don't mind if i share that because i think it's very very valuable content for anyone who's listening so this week we're looking at a few ways that you can incorporate these little breaks and trust me yours truly is taking her own advice to heart i am thinking about what i'm going to do over the next over the next month um, to to do this um, and I did this last year and it helped immeasurably oh god love you thank you Robin I appreciate that okay so today we uh, today's um, the episode is called see it what do I mean by that all right see it music let's let's go through a couple of things that you can see and we'll tell you why this is important museums all right, now museums provide an interesting glimpse into your local history, uh, and you may come away from with a different point of view of your environment, uh, of your environs. Now, Nova Scotia, for example, happens to have, a, oh golly, 20 um, state-run, province-run museums, and they are fascinating. I have to say, for a tiny province, these Robin, these these Robins, these museums are really, really well done. Perhaps around a fishing industry or uh, a lumber industry, or uh, there's even the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Uh, and yeah, I forget what the topic is this summer. But they, uh, I, my father and I visited, I believe, 19 out of 20 of those museums, and I'm going to take advantage of a couple more of them this year uh, because I probably won't be here next year. And so what I'm saying is do a little bit of research. Maybe you're going to have to drive an hour. 
to see one. But that drive alone can be kind of, wow, you know, I never noticed that signpost along the way. The, um, you can also, if, you, if, that's, if that's too much for you this weekend, go to a movie. I went to a movie yesterday, DC Pets, um, Pet, Pet League. I go to a movie every second Sunday night. Uh, to set me up for the following week gives me a different point of view gives me something different to think about the idea is what's the idea is to exercise a different part of your brain yes I'm going to even say that again exercise a different part of your brain that has nothing to do with work uh, or your housework or dare I say it even crocheting okay it is just something that's on the you're, you're using, I think it's the left side of your brain or the right side, I'm not sure, it doesn't matter. It's exercising a different part of your brain and that's what you need, all right? All, all work and no play, you know what it does. Uh, uh, and, and movie theaters aren't usually crowded in the summer, especially right now post-COVID. I was alone in the theater yesterday. They had sold five seats, including mine. I was the only one there. I guess the other guys didn't didn't mind blowing twelve dollars a movie ticket and just. <laughs> I'm half Scottish, half Ukrainian. Ain't no way I'm blowing. <laughs> if I'm paying for it, I'm seeing it. All right, so leave the everyday work world behind this week and sit with me and let's experience a few other ways that you can do that. Okie dokie, so where are we at here? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, oh, and if you have any ideas about what you like to do, whether you're watching uh, live like Robin and Michael are, or you're watching on the replay, whether it's here on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or I will get to YouTube in a minute. Uh, just send me, uh, put a comment in the post, or better yet, send me a direct message. Okay, that's the way that I will, um, I will, I, I'd like to, I'm not the one with all the ideas. I get most of my content from, from y'all. Okay, so if you find this video helpful, if you think, uh, if you think it could help, because that is what we do at Declutter the Brain, is help people, uh, just hit that big old share button. Uh, if, you, if you're curious about uh, other videos that I've made on a myriad of topics, just go to YouTube, type in Declutter the Brain, and we are there, cataloged, organized, and ready for, what is it? Your dining and dancing pleasure. Maybe not. But you, you'll find everything you want. Where is it at, Michael, that you're going to find everything you want? <laughs> Inside joke, Robin. Okay, so uh, I promised you three steps earlier in this video and three steps you shall have. <clears throat> Do you just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back? Hmm? Are, you, are you wondering, how much more could I accomplish if I weren't just constantly distracted? Uh-huh, yeah, finally. Are you an action taker who is committed to clearing your space and organizing your thoughts so you can just, oh, really have a, a good life? Hmm? Yes? Okay. First things first, get off that hamster wheel and join Declutter the Brain Facebook group. We are making some tweaks to the content for the better, I believe. Tuesday tips, uh, Wednesday win, weekend warrior. Um, yeah, we've got lots happening. Just uh, scroll down and click that link. Number what step number two, you ask? Uh, scroll down even further to download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and metal, mental clutter. And while you're there, or you can scroll down even further, book, uh, reserve your spot to have a chat with me and I will listen to hear what your clutter is actually costing you in your health, your wealth, your relationships, and give you a jumpstart plan for right now results okay now remember now that you have decided to eliminate your chaos and organize your mindset just click click those links below there we go my god bravo bravo alice's restaurant okay and change your life today all right all right um okay till tomorrow when we talk about picket have a great day everybody bye for now